So if you want to know how to become a data analyst, this video is for you. Be sure to save this video for later on so you can refer back to it when you need it. Number one, you need to learn SQL. You need SQL because it's a program language that data analysts use. If you don't know SQL, there's many ways that you can learn the programming language. There's a lot of free certification programs out there that will teach you the language. There's also videos on YouTube that will teach you as well. Those are the free resources for you. But what I also recommend is you checking out different boot camps. There are boot camps out there that will teach you the language and also assist you in landing a job. Number two, you have to know how to operate Excel. And let me be clear, you don't have to be a master at using Microsoft Excel, but you have to know how to use it in a functional way. Again, there are a lot of free programs out there where you can just get your training and get re-familiarized with the program if you're rusty. Number three, you have to make a portfolio. This is one of the most important parts of landing a job as a data analyst. A portfolio will show hiring managers that you know how to do the job effectively. If you don't have the experience, a portfolio is vital to show your work. And I'm going to be honest with you, this is the trend for most tech jobs. You may not need experience to break into a certain field, but you need to have the training and show that you know how to do the job. Number four, make sure your resume and LinkedIn profile are tailored for data analyst jobs. This is so important because you are competing with other people who are experienced data analysts as well as inexperienced data analysts. And in order to stand out, you need to make sure that your resume and LinkedIn profile is updated and positions you well for data analyst roles. One of the reasons why people struggle to get into data analytics because they're not branded and positioned well to land these jobs. Your resume and LinkedIn profile will help position you big time for these roles. And if you need help with your resume or LinkedIn profile, hit me up. This is what I do professionally. And if you made it to tip number five, this is a bonus for you. Begin networking with other data analysts and tech professionals. This is one of the main reasons why people don't break into the field. Listen, here's some real talk. Data analytics is one of the hottest career fields right now. It's extremely competitive and you're not just going to put your resume on a job board and think you're just going to get a ton of callbacks. By the time these jobs reach the job boards, if they do, they're already filled internally. What this means for you is you need to build relationships with tech professionals that already work for tech companies or whatever company you want to work for. Most tech companies have employee referral programs. In other words, employees are incentivized for referring people to the company for a particular role. If you build relationships with employees who already work for these companies, they can refer you to the role. They're going to benefit because they're making two to five thousand dollars just for referring you. And you benefit because you're using the hidden job market to land a quality job. All right, I'm done. If you've got any questions, let me know. And be sure to follow me for more high value tech tips. You're welcome.